Just left out of service here at Finisher's Church and it was a wonderful message. Uh, the message for the day came from the book of Nehemiah and um, it spoke about the people of God when they were building a wall um, to protect themselves and during the time that they were almost finished preparing the wall, the enemies went from one to many. And we can apply that to our lives where we're working and trying to progress our lives in God. Our enemies can multiply to come up against us. So we're just going to stay encouraged to continue our relationship and growing with God. Uh, Pastor Pierre also spoke about uh, five important points um, that God is working on in our lives. And the two that stuck out to me were um, God is working on our character and he's also working on establishing our faith. So um, continue to be encouraged and um, God bless you. spoke from Nehemiah chapter 4 uh, verses 7 through 11 and he specifically focused on when the Jews, the uh, tribe of Judah were rebuilding the wall um, and whatever area of your life you may be rebuilding, whether it be relationships whether it be uh, areas in your personal life with, with your relationship with God, uh, we focused on ways in which God rebuilds and then how to just maintain your faith how to stay encouraged, how to uh, always respect uh, the delay in the waiting and always relying on God, just to never give up, uh, always uh, put your faith and trust in God. And towards the end, he specifically focused on five areas when when you're waiting during that time, what is it exactly that God is working on? And the first two actually hit home for me because I'm in a waiting period. Uh, well, God is just rebuilding and restoring things uh, in my workplace. So uh, with that, the first two was uh, teaching you to listen to him. And the second was God is working on your character. Um, the hardest thing you have to do sometimes is just stop and listen to God. Um, and then when you're listening to him, you also have to uh, work on your character. Um, regardless of what the naysayers are saying about you, uh, just hold on to your faith, believe in God, believe that it's going to come, and just stay strong.